this is probably the most, or not probably, this is the most consequential victims advocacy reform since the Victims' Bill of Rights was passed over two decades ago. And I think it's going to set the stage for a new era in how we work with, how we protect, and how we serve those who find themselves, unfortunately, in the position of being a victim of a crime in South Carolina. The Crime Victim Services Division is going to basically uh, do uh, for victim services what Costco <laughs> did for shopping. It's going to make everything a one-stop shop. Before this reform went into effect, before this law was passed, you would have to go to this agency to get a grant. If you were a victim services provider, you ran a domestic violence shelter, or a trauma service center, or you ran some non-governmental organization, you'd have to go to DPS to get your grants um, provided for. If you, uh, if, you, if you were a victim who felt that their rights were violated or something had gone astray in the, in the criminal justice system, then you would have to go to another building with the Crown Victims Ombudsman. And if you needed reimbursement or some other service provided, you would have to go to the State Office of Victims Assistant in another uh, agency building. Of course, the ultimate recommendation was to consolidate them under a pre-existing state agency. The, state, the, the South Carolina Office of the Attorney General is where they have found their new home. Victims have always had difficulty navigating the uncharted waters of crime. Early one morning in November of 2003, my beautiful, unsuspecting sister was murdered by a stalker at the front door of her home south of Broad in Charleston by a stalker. She was leaving her home to teach French to kindergarten through 12th graders. Although the offender was caught within hours um, after this experience, um, being associated with crime certainly had never been in my life's experiences. I was drowning in grief, and I knew there had to be something done to make sure that this never happened to anyone else. I needed help. In a state of total shock, I had no idea what to do, no idea where to turn, who could provide answers, and who could navigate those tumultuous waters. I happened upon Laura Hudson and Veronica Kuntz, purely by the grace of God. It was an aha moment that I'll never forget, but it was a long time coming. Laura kept me focused, providing valuable support, guidance, and as many answers as she could possibly find for me. But you know what? Everybody doesn't have a Laura Hudson. All crime victims need immediate support, definitive answers, and a team that knows how to steer the boat. The location going to work, you know, how's that going to be? So I think that was part of it. So once we figured out that the logistics would work, we made sure no one was going to lose their job. You know, we didn't want to consolidate so much that somebody lost their job. So we worked hard to make sure that we could have a smooth transition, and we know it's the best thing for the people of South Carolina.